quick statement. We'll open it okay, up. we went to uh, practice seven today. Uh, did a lot of team stuff. Did some team pass against each other. Uh, did some uh, kickoff versus kickoff return where we went all the way down the field and covered and got linked up. We're going to do a little bit more of that on Saturday. Uh, you know, what we're doing is uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday practice format, and then Monday, Wednesday, Friday, we lift and meet. And, uh, uh, you know, trying to keep it, we cut back a little bit on, on reps uh, just so the guys are, are as fresh as we can get them on Saturday. And we're going to do a lot of team stuff on Saturday. We're all going to scrimmage a little bit. We'll do some tackling to the ground. Everybody will be live other than the quarterback. Uh, and then we'll also uh, do some kicking game. We'll do some punt versus punt block, you know, uh, uh, great on great. And then the same thing with kickoff, kickoff return. And we'll, we'll do eight live uh, field goal versus block team as well. So, uh, you know, there's, there's a bunch of guys that need the experience. Uh, and, and there's a bunch of guys that we need to get a good, solid evaluation on. You know, you can get good, good evaluations in, in practice. Uh, but you can get great evaluations uh, when you're actually scrimmaging and doing things uh, somewhat for real. It's not a real game in any way, shape, or form. Quarterback's not live, and you know you're, but you're 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 playing the game for uh, playing the, doing the scrimmage for some close to game experience and big time evaluation. Questions. It helps us a bunch. Unfortunately, the positions that we're a little bit thin at is running back and, and receiver. You know, and, and uh, uh, I wish we had you know a few more at each spot. Uh, but uh, we just got to keep them healthy. And you know, it's, uh, you know, one of the guys was a little bit banged up today, and I just kept him out. So hopefully, he'll be able to go on Saturday. Uh, but yeah, it's it's good to have a few of those guys back. We're able to have a functioning practice. Matt Lombardi has been getting some reps with the first unit at, at, at offensive tackle. Um, how, how much has he progressed from last year, and, and how much do you guys like him? A ton. I, you know, he's got great length. He's he's probably the tallest kid on our team. He's you know six foot seven. You know, pro measure. He's I think he was two hundred eighty-six pounds the other day. Uh, you know, and, and the, the thing that is going to help Matt out more than anything is football is important to him. He enjoys competing. He enjoys learning football. He's, you know, I call those guys a gym rat who are up in the office all the time. He's, he's always up there, you know, you know, bugging the coaches and trying to get better. And, you know, he's got a high ceiling. Uh, and, uh, you know, it's, uh, I think it's going to happen sooner rather than later for him. Well, I'm just really excited about uh, Tulane, uh, you know, uh, offering the opportunity for them to have the game here. That's it's great for us, but more so, it's it celebrates, uh, you know, the HBCUs. Uh, you know, I've, uh, you know, I went, when I was at Blinn College, I was there for four years, and and Prairie View is just right down the street from uh, from Blinn, and and. Uh, you know, and then, you know, Coach Fobbs, his brother's the head coach at Grambling. And, uh, you know, we've got a great relationship with the coaches at Southern. Uh, you know, I always talk about guys being able to have that opportunity to go play, uh, irregardless of what college that you went to. You know, the greatest, maybe the greatest NFL player of all time, but certainly the greatest receiver played at HBCU. Maybe the greatest running back, you know, played at HBCU. You, you, you know who I'm talking about, uh, Jerry Rice and Walter Payton, right? But, uh, uh, you, you know, it just is great. Uh, you know, you got two icons of football that are uh, uh, running, you know, the, the legacy uh, uh, committee for the HBCU Classic, uh, Doug Williams, you know, Louisiana guy, and then you got Shaq Harris, you know, James Harris, uh, who, uh, you know, 
a trailblazer for uh, you know college football and his his position. So uh, I, I'm just happy that our administration uh, you know is able to to get this game here. That's that's going to be really neat. Well, I told him the other day he's got the toughest job of everybody. You know, we he came in and we had three practices. You know, that's that's difficult. I've never had to do that before, uh, but he's doing a super super job. You know, there's a lot of similarities with what uh, he was doing at Notre Dame and what we're doing here. So that was good. But he's also having to learn all sorts of new terminology. Uh, you know, both technique fundamentally. He's also under a new head coach and how I do things. Uh, you know, I, I think something that's uh, uh, neat for our players is, uh, you know, it wasn't that long ago that Chris was a, a college football player and a darn good college football player and also made that vault into the NFL. He was, a, I believe, he's the 89th pick in the draft and third round pick by the Chargers. And uh, we've got a lot of players on our team that aspire to do that. And uh, we certainly have a bunch of offensive linemen who'd like to do that. And he, he can give them, you know, wise counsel on how you're able to do that. You know, so we've got, uh, you know, uh, uh, Chris and, uh, you know, J.J. McCleskey played eight years in the NFL. I believe that's everybody, right? I've got on my staff. Coach Conway, I think, played nine years with, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but, uh, uh, you know, it's good for those guys to be able to ask questions and, you know, uh, find out how he had that path as well. So that's that's unique. Any other questions? Everybody good? Thank you. Thank you.